Hello guys, welcome to this video and in this video what we are going to do in the Laravel project I'm going to generate sitemap automatically it is going to scan a complete site and create a sitemap.xml file and after that we are going to submit that sitemap automatically to Google and other search engines so it's something that you need to do for your Laravel website so you can set up some scheduler and automatically your sitemap will get updated so you don't have to go to Google or any other site to update it. So uh, here on the page, I am on this uh, package. This is the Laravel package we need to use to create the sitemap file. It is pretty easy. All we need to do is run this command. So I'm going to do that. I have this command here. I'm going to copy this. I'm using CMD in Windows 10. Now I'm going to paste the command here and hit enter. It is going to take some time, so we need to let it install. Once it completes, I'll show you the next steps of what we need to do. So here I'm setting the memory to uh, memory limit to minus one. So it is going to install it. It's not going to give us any error regarding memory. So if you face any uh, error, like my composer memory exhausted, so you can use this command. Just put composer memory limit to minus one and then the command all right the package is installed now what I need to do I need to run this command it is going to create a config file so if we need to change any configuration we can do that but in this video I'm not going to change any configuration but I just I uh, get it created so I created it now once it is done these two commands are installed in your project you can simply use uh, these uh, code the sitemap generator create and all so if you uh, copy this code and put any website here it is going to generate the XML uh, file for that a sitemap file for that I have created a command and here is the code for it and this code also available the link in the description you can copy this code if you want to so what I'm doing here is uh, I have this handle function It is a command so when I run PHP artisan generate sitemap it is going to do this so to create a command you need to watch this video you get the idea how to create a command so once you have a command created you will get something like this file so you will have a first signature I have generate sitemap so if I run PHP artisan generate sitemap, it is going to run this command. So this command is going to generate a sitemap for a website. Now here we have a handle function where we have all the logic and this logic is going to generate the sitemap for us as well as going to update it on the Google, Bing and other search engine uh, engines. So here, let's see what exactly is happening. So in the try uh, statement here, I have the sitemap.xml in as a file name then I have a path which is in a Laravel function public underscore path which takes Laravel to the uh, public directory and the sitemap folder inside it so here I'm setting the memory limits to unlimited for temporarily while we this code executes we need the memory to be increased so it is going to do that now here I'm checking if the file exists so the path to the public folder that we have here and then the file name which is xml uh, sitemap.xml which is appending here so I'm checking if it is present just uh, that means if sitemap is present in the directory that means it's an old sitemap so I'm changing the uh, permission to 777 and after that I'm changing its name to sitemap old and appending date to it so that each time whenever I generate a new sitemap it is going to have a record of it like the previous sitemap was that sitemap and uh, the date of that so this is what it is doing this uh, piece of code here now the package we installed sitemap generator create and I'm putting the web, my website here as uh, zox.biz to get the results I have few pages here I want to set priority here more on these pages so I just created an array and I'm saying if URL is equal to this 
that means if you are a consistent knowledge underscore base then the priority should be 1.0 and uh, same happens with all these uh, if it is a blog page priority 1.0 otherwise it's 0 0.8 then we are returning it and here we are saying write to file then we have a path this path if you see this path again it goes to the public folder sitemap and then the file name which is sitemap.xml so it is going to do that now here uh, once we have the sitemap this is going to create the sitemap for us and it's going to add into the directory I'm going to show you in a moment so uh, just bear with me here we are submitting it so what we are doing, doing here sitemap URL so I have this URL so in this directory I have sitemap present in the sitemap public sitemap the file name sitemap.xml then I'm uh, using C curl here to handle this submission so here sitemap for Google sitemap for Bing so we are just appending their URL we are ping sitemap is equal to the sitemap URL that we have here so we are just telling that our sitemap is currently present in this directory just append it here and that's it my curl return code it will return a code to us so we get the understanding that we successfully uh, updated it so let's see the project here now uh, in the directory I have these sitemaps so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna delete all these uh, and only one I will maintain it there so there is sitemap this is going to be uh, just like the old sitemap so this command uh, which is here generate sitemap I'm going to run this command so that you can see how it works so here I'm gonna clear the screen and put it here one side now open the directory so I am in my public folder sitemap folder and there it is so here I say PHP artisan and I'm gonna paste the generate sitemap so this is the command I registered and you need to see these uh, how to generate a command if you don't know uh, how to generate it so I'm gonna hit enter now notice here this sitemap name changed this is now sitemap old and current date so it is going to, to generate a brand new sitemap for me in here and then it is going to notify me in here that uh, it updated sitemap successfully to the search engines So you can see that we have a sitemap here created and we have the response here from the site that your sitemap has successfully added into list of sitemaps to crawl so we have the Google webmaster tools uh, we have the return code here you can see return code 200 so this is how you submit it so the code here is the link in the, in the description you can copy the code and use it in your project if you want to if you have any question, do leave the comment in the comment section. Hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.